In the following part of the demo, we will add more bodies to the model, starting with the front wheel, and the rear wheel. Since we need to define quite many bodies it becomes rather tedious and you may skip parts of the video once you feel more comfortable with the process. Create a new body with label, front wheel, and enter mass and inertia properties as shown. Set the inertia values to 1000, respectively. Select front wheel center point as center of mass origin point. Create a graphics with label, front wheel graphic 1. Select front wheel as parent body. Select front wheel left point as origin point, and front wheel right point as direction point. Go to Properties and enter a radius of 10. Create another graphics with label as front wheel graphic 2. Select front wheel as parent body. Select front wheel left point as origin point and front wheel right point as direction point. Go to properties and enter a radius of 220. Enter length as 50 and offset of 25. Create a body for rear wheel and repeat the same procedure as done for front wheel. Now we are creating a graphics of type cylinder. This graphics will then be applied to the rear wheel. Change length, radius and offset of the graphics. Next step in the model building process, create a new body for front fork. The process is pretty much the same as before, nothing in special.
To help you to understand and recall our naming convention, please have a look at the two inserted images. Add a new body next. Enter mass and inertia properties as shown. Select frame upper point as center of mass origin point. Create graphics with label as front fork graphic 1. Change to connectivity, then select front fork as parent body. Select frame upper point as origin point, and front fork upper left point as direction point. Create another graphics with label as front fork graphic 2. Repeat the same procedure with direction point as front fork upper right point. Radius of the cylinder is set to 10. Create graphics with label as front fork graphic 3. Select front fork as parent body. Select front fork middle right point as origin point, and front fork upper right point as direction point. Repeat the same by creating graphics for the front fork left point as shown. For mass and inertia properties we are using our standard values. We name it, front shock left graphic.
The radius of the cylinder graphics is set to 15. Next, we are going to build the swing arm. Again, we need to define the body and graphics etc. The mass is set to 1. And inertia values to 1000. We name this graphic, swing arm left graphic. Enter radius is 15. The new graphic will be named, swing arm right graphic.